Hey guys, welcome to Simply Good Food TV's kitchen. Today I am cooking with an ingredient I have never cooked with before. Seaweed pasta. So I had this sent to me, it's come over from Holland actually. Um, uh, and uh, it's not often that I get sent something that I've never seen before, I've never tasted. Obviously I've tried seaweed. Um, so I'm really excited, so I thought, you know what, let's switch the camera on. So, um, I see pasta. Let's give it a whirl. Basically, cooking instructions is soak it in hot water for 20 minutes. And honestly, the minute you open it, it just takes me right back to being a kid. I was brought up in Yorkshire, so Bridlington, Scarborough, Filey, Whitby. Those are all the places that I used to go to as a kid. And it just literally, it just smells like bread to me. Um, so look, we've soaked it. It's in boiling water. Here it is. It looks a little bit more familiar now, actually. I'm going to have a little taste. This has just been soaking. Mm. It's kind of salty, obviously. Um, I'm just going to get a pan on so we need to cook something with it. So, mm. nice. Mm. It's good. It's got a nice texture, actually. A bit of bite. It's almost like, you know, al dente tagliatelle, which is great. So I'm just going to leave that to soak. Um, so what I've got is, I've got a series of herbs here, most importantly, I've got John Fell, you will love this, I've got some hake, okay? So let me just uh, drop into there so you can see what I've got. Now for me, the best way to cook fish is a lovely fillet and get it dry. Now when you buy it, it can be in water, it's been washed, it can be quite wet. And if you want to pan fry it, you really need to make sure... I'm just editing while I'm going to see here, so if you see me uh, fiddling around over here, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of cropping in, I'm trying to make sure that you actually get to see um, what we're cooking, and that's kind of how we work. So, I've just put it on a clean J cloth, haven't used it, just put the fish on there, folded it over, and then I'm going to turn it over again. And you can see there, look, let me crop in there, you can see it's absorbed all the moisture there. And now I've got a really nice dry piece of fish, which is absolutely vital to getting it fried and crispy and delicious. Okay, so let's go back to the wide. Okay, right, so I'm just going to cook one piece because I'm actually going to do another recipe after this because I've got another product. It's amazing and I know it'll work with this. So if you are watching this and you do like cake, stay tuned because I'm going to do another video for my lunch afterwards. So first things first, I've got my pan on full heat there. So for about a minute or two, it's now just starting to smoke a touch, and you can see it's just kind of coming up there. I'm now going to turn that down. So out of nine, which is the max, I've got that down to six now, okay? So I'm going to season up my fish. So I've got a little bit of oil onto the fish, okay? And it's important that we're going to do this this way around, all right? So we will then season it off. I like to put a bit of pepper on. Uh, some people don't, I think it burns. Do you know what, it's personal choice. It's what I like to do. Plenty of salt, because we want to draw the moisture out and allow that skin to crisp up a little bit, okay? Right, so let's go for this. So skin side down, okay? Lay it away, can you hear that? There we go. That means it's ready to cook. Now, if you don't hear a sizzle on your frying pan, it's not hot enough to cook, okay? I'm just going to put that piece to one side. So while it's cooking, okay, don't fiddle with it, don't mess about with it. I'm just going to move those um, seaweed noodles over. Now, I've got a few ingredients. This is clean, this is simple, this is delicious, okay? So I've been to the herb garden. Uh, and I've, what I've got is some lovely flat leaf parsley and plenty of it. So we'll just take the stalk off there and I'm just going to run this through. For me this is kind of just a really loose, full flavoured dish. So it's not over engineered, we're not working it up. Everything's made in the same time that fish takes to cook. So we're talking eight minutes, okay? Once you've soaked your pasta, eight, ten minutes max, okay? So I'm just going to have a little look. No, not there yet. So I have got some lovage. Now this is a herb, if I'm honest. I've not done loads with, to be fair. Um, I have kind of... There we go. 
I've discovered it. My mum grew it for me and brought it into the herb garden here at the cookery school. And it's kind of celery-like. It's a bit like the big leaves that you get off celery. And it gives a lovely savoury flavour. So all I'm going to do is just chop that through nice and fine. Chop, chop, chop. Nice. Right, okay, so... Let's just drop right into the chopping board there so you can see everything. And then I've got fennel tops growing. Okay, so we've got fennel growing in the cookery school. All I'm going to do is just chop this. I've chopped the fennel off the top and then we just run our knife through. And that is all our herbs. I've got some capers. I'm just going to pop those capers on there. Get everything ready. I've got some lemon. Now I'm going to cut the lemon in half. Okay. And I just need half for now. And then I've got some butter. Alright. And that's basically going to be our sauce. So let's just go wider. There we go. Right, let's just have a look at this. Now I'm left handed so I'm always turning it the wrong way. So I'll try and do it right handed. So that you can see what's going on. Yeah, beautiful. Right, so we just turn that over. We've got a nice look. Let me let me crop into there for you. You've got a nice crispy skin there. Lovely. That is just going to be beautiful. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the butter, and that is just going to melt away. I'm going to add in the capers, and then I'm actually going to take some of the water that the seaweed has soaked in, okay? Because I want the flavour, and this is slightly salty. So I'm going to add that in. And the reason why I've done that is now the fish is no longer frying. We've done the frying bit on the top. We've got a nice crispy skin. Now we're poaching this fish in this lovely soaking water that the seaweed has soaked in. So it's slightly salty, which is nice. Taste of sea which is great with fish. So the minute you add that water, now we've stopped frying. And basically the butter and the capers and the water are amalgamating together to create like an emulsion, okay? So I can now afford to turn this up a little bit. So I'm gonna turn it up to number eight and I want the fish to cook through. So I'm gonna add, I've missed a few capers there, so I'm gonna add those in. Quick wipe down. Okay, so this fish is almost cooked. Okay? And the reason why I can tell is if I just press it, it's it's a lot firmer now. When it was raw, it was quite soft, and when you press it, it, it kind of it just, it doesn't spring back. Now, it's starting to spring back and tighten a little bit. And that's usually what happens with sort of proteins like fish and meat and things like that. It tightens, the more it cooks, the more it tightens. Okay, so, I'm gonna add our lovely seaweed here, our seaweed pasta. So we'll drop that in. And just put it to one side, because we want this to warm through. Okay, so that'll be enough. Got me chefy tongs here. Okay, right. So I'm going to add half the herbs, okay? And what we will now do is just the fish is cooked. I'm just going to turn it so that the skin gets a little bit of that sauce as well. And then I'm going to lift it out and let it rest just for a minute, okay? So just let that rest there. And then now, we can take a little bit more of the cooking juices because it's reduced down a touch. Okay, there we go. Let's stir this all together. Ah, looks amazing. Now all the fresh herbs are in. Looks good. So, squeeze the lemon juice. There we go. Now, all those flavours are in the pan and working together. Beautiful. Right, let's give a little taste. Make sure we are where we want to be. One of my top tips for cooking, and I was asked this yesterday in an interview, the most important thing to me is taste your food as you go along so you can make the adjustments. 
That is good. The salty water that the pasta has kind of sat in with the lemon juice and the herbs. Incredible. Really, really nice. Okay, so. Let's have a little tidy up so that we can plate this up because we are ready to cook. We're ready to eat. Sorry. Is that plate a little wipe? Okay, right. Let's pop this on here. So, let's take our pasta. Seaweed pasta. Right in the middle. There we go. Just drop that on there. Make sure we get all those lovely herbs. Beautiful. A little bit more of that cooking liquid. Because that is delicious. Right, let's take our hake so it's nice and crispy. Just drop that on top there. I've got a few more little kind of herbs. Let's just kind of crop in so you can see the food. So we've got a little bit of those fennel tops which just give it a really lovely fragrance. And then for me with all fish, a squeeze of lemon juice at the end is what makes this delicious. There we go, right. There we go, that is my beautiful crispy hake, served with fresh herbs, lemon, capers and butter from the garden, with some seaweed pasta. There we go. Look, if you want more of these recipes, please download Simply Good Food TV. It's a free app in the App Store. We're doing loads more live stuff. If you miss it on Facebook, don't worry, because we're going to transfer it over onto the app. And please tell your friends about the app if you like what we do. And if you want to know a particular skill in the kitchen, I'm sure we can help. Just give us a shout out and we will try and help where we can. Whether that's a video to instruct you or whether it's just some advice on a message. But give us a shout. Thank you very much and I'll speak to you soon.